Yes, my people, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Arsenal transfer news. Now, the latest news in, Saeed Benrahma, the championship ace, it could be possibly coming to Arsenal. Now, this comes as a little surprise to me, but maybe not to a lot of Arsenal fans because I actually saw this player after the championship playoff finals outside of Wembley where he looked so woeful understandably because Brentford did so well to get to that playoff final they almost had it they they done well in the lead up and I, and even before the championship playoff final you know the performances they put in as a whole squad they they could have got automatic promotion and I'm I'm so upset for them that they let it slip on two occasions um, and then they had to rely on a championship playoff final to get promoted to the Premier League and then they lost that game they lost that game to Fulham um, and then after the game I was outside Wembley uh, bumped into him and he was literally just standing on the street corner with a pizza in his hand his phone in the other waiting for his Uber and he looked so sad understandably and I really really wanted to have a conversation with him really you know to kind of say what's next like Premier League, there's other options, you know. In my head, I was actually thinking Chelsea. Um, obviously, I wouldn't have said that to him, but that's where I would have thought his next move would be. But, you know, in the, in the heat of the moment, you just don't think. I should have just said, bro, come Arsenal. Come Arsenal. But he didn't really want to speak. Um, I think he even said he doesn't speak the language because he just said bad. He just said bad, bad. So basically, he's in a bad mood. He doesn't want to talk, understandably. Left him alone. But I kind of wish now that I said something. But you know what? I probably didn't need to because it looks like he could be coming to the Arsenal um, for £25 million. And what player he would be, I kind of think now where would he fit in? Um, because, you know, he's a winger. Uh, sometimes plays on the, he plays on the left, doesn't he? And so we've got Aubameyang that plays on the left. Willian that could possibly play on the left. Saka sometimes on the left. So where would uh, a young Ben Rama fit into this Arsenal squad? What, what position would he be in under Arteta? I mean, he'd done well for Brentford last season involved in 20, 27 combined goals and assists in the championship. Um, it would be amazing to see what he does in the Premier League. Even just watching him, his style, his swagger, the way he plays, he just looks like a Premier League player, if you know what I mean. You just kind of think you deserve to be in this league. Somebody needs to nick you now. And sorry to any Brentford fans that could be watching this, because this is probably their biggest worry. It was their biggest worry, because I spoke to some Brentford fans before that game. And, you know, they said, if we lose this final... We're going to lose Ben Rama and a couple of other players, uh, Ollie Watkins, you know. So it's no surprise to me that we're going in for him. Actually, it kind of is because I'm like, wow, I'm liking the activity in this transfer window. I was not expecting it at all. What are your thoughts inside Ben Rama? What could he bring to Arsenal? And would he be a first first team player? Like, would he be a starter? Would he be, you know, a rotational player? What would he What would he do for Arsenal? And how excited would you be to see him in an Arsenal shirt? Now, Ben Rama wouldn't be the first person we've, let's say, signed from Brentford. We've, we've already taken their their coach, Andreas Georgeson. Uh, he's joined Arsenal. I mean, he's probably going to help help bring that deal over the line. You know, he knows Ben Rama well. Obviously, he's coached with him. And of course, David Rea is a possible player that could be coming to Arsenal as well. We're going to be nicking some Brentford players. You saw it coming. I mean, when the league ended and we saw the teams that went down and we saw the teams that came up, you know, we was all saying... Let's go in for uh, Dekure. Let's go in for some Watford players. Let's go in for some Brentford and some Norwich players. Because, you know, you'd think because they've gone down to the championship, well, Norwich has gone down and Brentford remain there. You'd think, OK, they'll be cheaper. But £25 million is a high asking price. But, you know, it's a, I think it's a fair asking price for Ben Rama. Um, I said, you know, when I met him that day, I said he, he kind of looks like a Chelsea player. I can't lie. And I'm pretty sure Chelsea are going to be in the firing line to... to to land a deal with him as well. But let's see who gets it over the line first. I mean, I'm sure Arteta can, you know, Arteta's doing bits at the moment. And David Rea, I know that's going to happen. That Spanish connection, there's no stopping Arteta in those negotiations. I know he's going to uh, get that over the line. Now, the only reason that we could possibly be bringing in David Rea, I mean, you've guessed it, Martinez is probably on his way out. And as much as He's impressed us over these last few weeks, these last few months, uh, stepping in for Bern Leno. He doesn't want to be a number two, number two goalkeeper anymore. And he showed the world and he showed everyone. He showed every Premier League fan, every Arsenal fan, every coach, every team watching that he deserves to be a number one goalkeeper because he's pretty much unstoppable. He's come up against some big opposition. And in all of those games, he has succeeded, you know, 
it's a player that we probably wouldn't want to see go. And we understand his frustration. I don't know if he's frustrated. We just understand his logic and thinking, all right, I've showed what I can do. I'm probably not going to be the number one goalkeeper here because that's Leno's role and it's Leno who's probably going to stay. That is that is the discussion at the moment. It's Leno that's going to stay at Arsenal. Um, so Martinez could probably be going out. And David Rea, who pretty much, you know, was in between the sticks for, I, I believe, every game for Brentford last season, could come in as our number two, as a backup for Leno. Now, how do you feel about that? He is, he's been sick for Brentford, let's say. I haven't watched many of Brentford's games, but the ones I did watch, especially in the lead up to the end of the season, what a good goalkeeper he God, <laughs> can't even get my words out. What a good goalkeeper he is as well. So it'll be interesting to see if we do bring those two Brentford players over. I'm sure Andreas will help with that deal as well. I'm, I'm pretty sure Ben Rama and David Ray will be Arsenal players before that transfer window closes. What do you think in the comments down below? Do you think these are two players that we need to bring to Arsenal at the moment or should we be concentrating on the roles that we keep on speaking about week in, week out, week out that Thomas Partey deal, the Iowa deal, you know, all of these other midfielders that be coming in, Coutinho possibly. Now, the reason I believe we are going in for Saeed Ben Rama is because originally it was supposed to be Coutinho in that role, but it doesn't look likely that we will get him anymore. And I mean... <sighs> Let's be serious, you know, 8-2 against Barcelona, Champions League winner. Are we Are we really going to get him? Let's be serious now. So I guess the more affordable option and the most realistic one is to bring Ren Ben Rama up from the Championship into the Premier League and join a big club in North London, the biggest club in North London. It's the biggest club in London, let's say. <laughs> here comes the Charles, here comes the Chelsea fans. Um, and he will join Arsenal. I think it is, you know, a very, very good transfer. I believe it will happen within the next two weeks. I think it will happen next week, to be honest. Um, he's very eager to... I mean, I say this I say this as if I spoke to him, but his body language said it all. He wants to be in the Premier League. I mean, who doesn't? He wants He wants it. Trust me, I could just tell. But his whole body language is saying, nah, man, life ain't supposed to be like this. I'm supposed to be a Premier League player next season. Don't worry, Ben Rama. You will be. You will be wearing one of these shirts. Well, not on the opening day of the league because we're against Fulham away. But, you know... Our next home game, you'll be wearing this shirt with pride as an Arsenal player. Um, what do you think of Saeed Ben Rama joining the Arsenal squad? Leave your comments down below and I'll be back with some more transfer windows whilst this transfer window is open. Subscribe if you like them and click the like button and I will see you soon.